again. It's a red stick. Hi guys welcome back to my channel i am samantha and i am deluxe wife and welcome back to another amazing home video this past couple of weeks i have been giving you guys updates from my kitchen to my bedroom to my laundry room and today i want to kind of give you some updates in real time to some spaces that we have completed starting off with my bedroom also our powder room downstairs our laundry room downstairs as well as i have some new bar stools which is pretty Pretty, pretty pretty exciting and very much a big deal okay so if you are new here yes you definitely want to go ahead and subscribe but now I know you're going to love it over here because I give you all things home lifestyle but you guys really 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 love my home stuff and so guess what I am your sister from another mister and I am taking care of things for you and bringing you along the way giving you tips and making everything oh so helpful so uh, without further ado again I subscribe comment a share save let's talk in the comments but let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so last week I shared with you guys my bedroom and basically how to create a luxury bedding how to create that nice fluffy feel when it comes to like a bedding and not overdo it not overspin in the most perfect way I did that for you guys I laid it out for you step by step so if you have not had the opportunity to check that video out of course it is linked for you to check it out you can check it out after this video you know I'm we cool like that we cool like that but I gave you all the steps and tools and necessary needed to complete that process now in that last week's video I told you guys that I had much of a hiccup but I did not want to get the video out to you because it was a hiccup so with that being said these are pillows these throw pillows oh my god okay so i talked about how i ordered these pillows from amazon or pillow covers from amazon and only one came in so i had to wait for another one it is white with the black piping along the side of it it's all the way around even at the bottom of it now this pillow is 22 by 22 but the pillow insert is feather filled and it's 24 by 24 which therefore is giving you that full feel that full volume effect when it comes to a pillow and I just think it looks so good okay now always keep in mind and always understand that I love black and white because I shared last week that black and white is the basis to do any color palette you want to add to it especially with the fall being here basically starting this week fall being here you can add your browns your orange your burgundies if you desire and then when Christmas roll around if you want to throw your green into it, imagine that black and white and green oh for the holidays it's going to look so so good together and then rolling into spring if you want to take the black away or keep the black and incorporate some yellow there you go there you go you don't have to do too much you don't have to always spend so much and you can just buy pillow covers because you already had the pillows so yes keep it simple but keep it very 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 fresh and trust me that's the best way to go so now that you guys have pretty much seen because that was literally all of my update that i have for this bedroom that was it i think everything else in here is perfect but the pillow covers were not in and i wanted to get those in and i just think they turned out so beautiful and so well and yeah so let's go ahead let's go downstairs so i can show you some updates down there okay guys so we are downstairs in the powder room when we first moved in here it was pretty much a blank canvas okay now because this bathroom does have a lot of traffic and i've shared with you guys that this bathroom is pretty big for a powder room it is bigger than a powder room that we have at our home that we own back in north carolina and honestly if we own this space i would do so much with it but because we're only renting this space it's but so much you can do with a rental space but i want to you know bring y'all along with me so y'all can see how it goes okay over the past couple of weeks i have just been adding things from time to time to make the space feel like how i desire it to feel okay when you first walk into the bathroom of course you do have your sink 
and I just think the sink is just so large for this powder room which allows me to add faux plants, a riser for my soap dispenser, air freshener for the room or room spray as well as a nice little reed diffuser to the space. Okay, now over the toilet, I decided to go with something very, very, very simple and very, very minimal, which is adding two frames over the toilet. Now, of course, I could have went with something different, but let me tell you about this little space, okay? I've shared with you guys before that you have to be careful when you're putting holes in walls in the bathroom because you don't know where those water lines lie. And I've shared with you, you know, we went through learning that you just don't know until you poke a hole in the wall and water may be everywhere and it may not be everywhere. But in this instance, I didn't want to do too much. So I added these two gorgeous frames to the back of the wall. I'm a little bit, they're a little bit not off, like they're spot on, but the toilet is not center between the sink and the wall. It's more towards the sink. So I had to make the pictures aligned and centered with the wall. But that's just me telling me like, okay girl, like it's not that serious, okay? So I do have that. I went ahead and put a flower on the back of the toilet because I mean, hey, just something nice just to add, you know, a little bit to the space. Now, just behind me, I pretty much have almost the identical pictures that are above the toilet on the adjacent wall. This wall here has pretty much the same exact pictures on the boat on the opposite wall. It's just that simple frames. I just wanted something to fill the space and make the space look good without trying too hard or adding too much to the space, you know? When it comes to a powder room, I mean, it's not like it has a shower or a tub. You don't need much, you know? You don't need much. And considering that this powder room is downstairs and not upstairs with the rest of the bathrooms it kind of doesn't make sense for me to add those floating shelves and add towels and things of that sort in them because it would just be for show it wouldn't be i wouldn't even get to use it It would literally collect dust and y'all already know our to-do list is what it's long enough it's long enough so i didn't go that route this time i started to but I didn't go that route this time because I said I, I just I didn't need to I didn't need to and, and then just in the corner here I have a cute little table here as well as a flower on top of it and this is if someone comes over and they have something in their hand and they want to sit it down prior to sitting on the toilet they have that option so that's just that but I wanted to keep it very minimal very simple but yet very clean and inviting and it did it for me okay so guys we have made it to the laundry room so the laundry room about two weeks ago we tackled updating this space it was very 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 simple it just housed obviously of course our washing machine and dryer and then we had one shelf over above us i wanted to take it one step up take it a notch up and add a countertop well my husband honestly suggested it at a countertop and I wanted to add some shelving in here maybe with a cabinet or something that would allow me to store things that I need as well as have some type of functionality and organization so we did just that in our laundry room makeover again that is a video I do have a link so you guys can go check it out after this video okay but when we filmed that video we did not complete the countertop I share with you guys that the weather has has been incredibly up and down in Texas so having a moisture in the air and trying to paint something and allow it to dry just was not an option at the time so we obviously finished it just plain when we recorded the video but now now the laundry room is oh so complete okay so we have this beautiful beautiful countertop that my husband made and he had the opportunity to go ahead and paint it white and it looks so so good and then the lip of it he painted it black to pretty much blend with the washing machine and dryer and it just looks so good again i share with you guys that this is 100 percent renter friendly it just lifts off when it is time for us to go or if we have to get something from behind it but this option this option just made so much more sense for our space as well as for our budget because 
we maximize it. Now I have a countertop to fold my clothing items on when I take them out of the dryer because as you guys know, my laundry room is downstairs. So that means I have to fold my clothes down here prior to taking them upstairs now i could take i could fold them upstairs but y'all know when you put clothes on the bed you're gonna push them over and push them over put them in the chair until the clothes is dirty again so we're not doing that okay we're not doing that we're gonna go ahead and get those clothes folded and yeah so the laundry room looks so good the organization is still intact nothing is out of place i see you guys loving it so i am loving it too. okay I'm loving it too so that's what we did in here just to answer a few questions that I've gotten since posting that video the first question was my lint being here is it in an awkward place absolutely not because my washer door doesn't even open on the lint bin you can't even see the door which lets you know that it doesn't obstruct the lint bin at all so I'm able to access my lint bin without any issues or anything like that so literally literally perfect and then the second thing was basically that everyone else pretty much asked was how hard was it to tackle this project it's not hard but you will need a assistance okay and sometimes all it takes is you getting the measurements for your laundry room and going to a home improvement store Lowe's Home Depot and they can cut it to your specifications and you're good to go you're good to go cut it to your specifications and once it's cut make it use some wall mount so that way they can sit on here with little pieces of wood okay and that's it that is it again this is super inexpensive to do it did not cost much at all the middle part of it that you see that he built are just little shelves that i could put whatever trinkets or extra detergent or things of that sort that i want to and he painted that black and it just looks so good it's just something else that just looks so so good now the moment you guys have been waiting for let's head over to the kitchen because yes we got some new bar stools and let's talk about it okay guys so finally also let me know what you guys think of the laundry room and now that it's painted did it all come together for you because it definitely all came together for me and for us now that i am in the lovely lovely kitchen a few weeks ago about a month ago you guys had the opportunity to pretty much see me transform this kitchen adding pictures pictures to adding uh, undermount lighting in the cabinet as well as the pantry adding floating shelves just making this kitchen pretty much my own even though it's a rental space but that's okay and that is the point to enjoy what you are paying for it's home it's called home for a reason so we know these roofs over our head the prices are continuously rising so we better enjoy it okay we better enjoy it so you guys have seen me transform this space top to bottom now my bar stools don't get me wrong i love my bar stools when i tell you i love them i love them they have been with me from our home in north carolina to when we moved to missouri and now here in texas and i have yet to let them go because i'm not letting them go these are 100 quality bar stools and you guys know i love when bar stools are sold individually because that lets you know that the quality on one is just so so good now the only dilemma i have with my bar stools is that they're bar stools instead of counter height okay and if you don't know what the difference is bar stools keep in mind bar pub somewhere you go out and the counter stools is exactly what it is exactly counter height and unfortunately these are tall okay so i'm gonna be honest with you over the years they've pretty much just been for show because any adult that sits in them especially an adult over five seven especially my height five seven or higher it is just incredibly too high your knees are hitting the counter and it's just uncomfortable to sit at 
So what is the solution? The solution is we have to have counter height stools. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and thank Day Elaine for this opportunity of being able to provide us with some beautiful, beautiful bar stools. Now these are great, but you guys are getting ready to see me unbox the beautiful new counter height stools that we have for this kitchen. And it's going to fit the space better because these are much higher than they need to be and so now if I decide to sit at the counter or the island I can I can sit there and eat and my knees aren't rubbing at the counter okay so we have our bar stools here So we have our bar stools. We're gonna go ahead and get these together. I kinda wanna tell you what color they are, but I mean, y'all know the thing about home, so y'all might know, you might kinda guess, but you can guess in the comments what you think they look like. Oh, you might not, you gonna know anyway because of the thumbnail. So, yes. You wanna do that first? Let's do guess what the legs look yeah, like y'all yeah. already know y'all y'all know when it comes to my style it's elevated it's always gonna give luxury okay and this do you see the go and this is go go not that antique mess this is gold okay gorgeous it looks so good <laughs> okay y'all let's put these bra suits together to go the directions is not hard it's legit eight steps and i am on the sixth step six so that's where we are We got one together so i'm gonna show you the difference in height between one of them and the other so let's take okay that was out the frame 
So do you see the difference? Like now, when I sit down, I am sitting at my food. Like, oh, this is just so good. This is just so good. So obviously they are shorter. Well, the back is shorter. The gray chairs have a fuller back, fuller, the gray chairs have a fuller back than the black chairs, but the height difference is so, so important because now I can sit at the counter and not have to worry about my knees rubbing and I'm so far away from my food. Now, let's get these other two together. And while I'm talking and going ahead and putting them together, I know you're probably like, well, Sam, what you gonna do with the other ones? I'm keeping, I'm keeping them all. I'm keeping my old bar stools because essentially we won't always be in this space. We will have a bigger space and I will have somewhere to put them. Even if we were in a home with a bonus room and I had to build like a bar height counter so that way I could utilize these, they would just be so perfect, so perfect when you buy quality you only have to buy once you don't have to buy time and time again and this i don't have to buy time and time again okay like day elaine got it right they got it correct they got it correct on oh so many levels and these are gorgeous I lost a nail in the process. A nail. But if I can do this, if I can do this, you can do it. So beautiful. Last one. <laughs> My daughter came by and said that they are obviously smaller than the other ones. They are definitely indeed shorter. But I think they're bulkier. They're definitely wider than the gray ones. The gray ones just have more back, but that's all. These are about two to three inches wider than the gray ones. Are done y'all saw me inserting some little uh my phone because i'm making short form content at the same time girl you gotta be able to multitask in this business multitask and we're done let's get the last one set up oh, this is so much better the other ones were so in the way they were like so in the way but now Baby, we ain't got an issue.
As you see, the bar stools are incredibly gorgeous. Day Elaine did a phenomenal job with these bar stools, and I would recommend them time and time again. I linked them in my description box as well as a discount code for you guys. So if you would love to update your space, you know I would love for you to go ahead, click the link in my description box, and they will take you directly to them. And they have a whole lot of stuff, okay? From a chairs to sofas to dining chair tables ottomans check them out day elaine definitely will take care of you but guys i hope you enjoyed today's video by all means let me know which space was your favorite space today that we updated from the powder room to updating the laundry room as well as these beautiful new uh, bar stools now listen i already know i'm a little bit biased and i can already you know i already know what my favorite update was today okay i already know okay um my favorite update um it cost me a nail it cost me a nail i have some exciting things are on the way for you guys so make sure you are subscribed make sure you have a post and notifications on because i know you're not going to want to miss what's coming so we are family now so go get your friends so we can be friends and so we can all be friends you know and let's make a big family out of this but thank you guys so much for the journey that we are on and the journey we continue to grow on and guys i love you thank you so 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 much but guys i definitely hope you enjoyed today's video until next time until the next video until next sunday go ahead and get caught up because you know guess what we always got the phenomenal home content going on over here okay so Tell a friend, bring a friend, same time next week. But guys, until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.